I've got some juicy tea, so you may want to go ahead and get your popcorn now, <laughs> but I'm telling you what, there is, it, it's so crazy that all of these cards came out the way that they did. There's someone very close to you that um, is actually very jealous of you. They're very obsessed. You do need to do some return to sender though. This person here doesn't know who they are. They, they don't have any kind of sense of self. They don't have any kind of individuality. Um, and they're extremely jealous of you. They're, look, others are hating on your connection, wishing that they had what you have. So there may be someone that's actually jealous over your romantic relationship, or they're hating on the fact that you're doing well within like your personal life, as well as your business life, professional life. And it's like, whether you feel confident or not, this person here sees you as confidence and it's triggering them. It's triggering their own insecurities. This person here um, may have actually betrayed you, but regardless, um, they feel like you did something to betray them. There, there's a lot of gossip and talking about you behind your back. This person, it's like they're, um, what it's, it's saying moving in silence right here. So this person here, they're talking and gossiping about you behind your back. You do need to really call in your power with this manifesting card. This person is, is, is doing spell work on you, whether it's, they are actually performing some sort of ritual, or it's because they're speaking poorly upon your name. Regardless, this person here is doing some sort of, um, uh, juju work or their um, uh, some sort of like candle work or whatever it is or just speaking poorly on you they're trying to cause ruckus in your life I do feel like it's because look watching your success and achievements have made them better and again like if this isn't professionally for you then this could be within a relationship but the majority of the collective that find this message, it's going to be because of your successes that you're having professionally. You're reaching like some achievements. You've already had some achievements and you're going to be achieving even more success. You've done a lot of inner work on yourself. You have um, done a lot of profound changing and healing and you're doing even more healing. You don't see these people, this, this, um, feminine energy right here is, is alone. So, um, she doesn't see the, the haters. So you may not even realize that this person is so obsessed with you, that there is so much insecurities with this person. They feel like you have, um, you have the type of identity that they would like that it's almost like they feel like life would be easier for them if they were you but they don't realize all the troubles that you've gone through the storms in life that you've gone through the deep healing that you've had to go through and they're going to reap their karma but but don't focus on that just know that as long as you're staying focused on yourself you're doing some return to sender um, that everything is going to be fine for you. One of the things that this may cause you is unexplained emotional outbursts, maybe start crying for no reason, getting sad. I just heard mental fog. So some of you could be having like um, bouts of confusion or hesitancies, doubting your decisions, things like that are coming from this evil eye energy. Procrastination, I just heard spirits say procrastination. So you may have like tr um, trouble getting going on like daily activities or um, uh, projects that you have for work um, or you know whatever it is that you want to get done you may kind of procrastinate um, here or there or maybe all the time because of this evil eye energy so making sure um, that you do return to sender because this is intentional work against you whether it's because they're deliberately thinking negative thoughts about you and speaking poorly upon your name or they're actually doing magic against you you are very protected but even police officers like when they wear like those bu bulletproof vests if they get shot there it's going to affect them in some way it's not gonna you know unalive them because they are wearing the vest but there will be a bruise or something so this will affect you but you're not going to get the full forced trauma from it so doing some um you know upping your protection game and doing some return to sender is going to allow you to continue moving forward with your goals um, and or relationships